Welcome home, Rat Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the founder and CEO of this show happens to have her own TV show in Bikini Bottom. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. SpongeBob Media. Camera flip. Whale of a birthday, Karate Island, friend or foe, Bikini Bottom Adventures, Atlantis, Square Panthers, and more! It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And today we're gonna be diving deep into this game of SpongeBob Media. Ever since the beginning, back with the season one first release soul and nautical nonsense, there has been an unbelievable amount of Spongebob DVDs, not just in the US, but around the world. But today my goal is to archive and preserve all the ones we have here currently in the collection and make an ongoing checklist to see if we can check off every single Spongebob special release that has ever come out in the US. I feel like we have to be super close to it. So the day we are finally gonna make that list, Ryan's gonna make this on-screen checklist and we are gonna see if we have every single Spongebob special release ever done here in the US and see which ones by the end of this that we need so you guys and me will know which DVDs we have which ones we need to be on the hunt for but any further ado we got a lot of DVDs to pull out of there and then not just that we're gonna be cleaning them and putting them inside of protectors here so let's sit on down and check everything out and let's uh start collecting all right shout out to the Spongebob fandom encyclopedia for having this list of DVDs so of course there's DVDs that come out of all over the country and we're always gonna look out for those two but we live here in the US and so we're trying to get this complete set. These are the ones that we grew up with. So let's go ahead and start off. First one ever, Nautical Nonsense and Sponge Buddies. So we're looking for that one, our surveyor of content. If you can find that one, I'm gonna get my cleaning materials ready. So we're looking for Nautical Nonsense and Sponge Buddies. The laser in my DVD player as a kid is probably permanently this OG green label yeah. green. <laughs> so right here we have the Nautical Nonsense and Sponge Buddies. This is the first ever special DVD that was ever released. Least. And on this, it has Rip Pants, SB129, all the way down to FUN and Club Sponge. Some of the best episodes of all time. We've talked about this before. You get the Violent Femme singing SpongeBob SquarePants. You get Backstage Pants features. More SpongeBob SquarePants secrets. Anyways, so let's clean this guy up in here a little bit. So we have our alcohol. This is what I usually use. I use 70%. I recommend 90%, but you know, Dollar Tree. Maybe hooking it up, and this is what they got. Let's clean it up. I mean, the cover comes out pretty clean we have been using these guys in the collection here and then we'll take a little survey of it so I mean I think overall you can see there is some like denting here in the back that could be better there's some scraping for sure a little dent on the top here but it does have its DVD and its inserts. And let's take a look at the disc. The disc is not perfect, but this one does play. So, I mean, we could use a better disc on this one too. I'm thinking a seven out of 10 on this one. All right, sounds good. So that way, so note would be better box, better yeah. DVD. No, better box, better DVD, and seven out of 10 overall. So we're gonna add this inside of our little protector right here and then keep it moving on. So we have on this list of every single SpongeBob DVD, nautical nonsense though. And I have covered all these SpongeBob DVDs in the collection before but I really want to have it like we're gonna be writing these down here so we have nautical nonsense on here and then we're gonna be printing out a page to put with the Spongebob DVD collection so that way we know which ones we're looking for and you guys know which ones we're looking for okay next up and it's cool to see the releases of these two Halloween so the Halloween, Halloween special dang Let's see what do we get what do we get so this is an interesting one. You may oh, see, yeah, there's one in here. So this one's a tough one because I do have the original Halloween DVD, but it's currently in the vault with all of the Halloween decorations because last year we didn't have that many Halloween decorations. So we were using even like DVDs as like pieces to kind of add to it. So that one is technically, I mean, we have it, but it's missing. I would like to get another one to add to the full set. So that way we can kind of, you know, keep that one for decoration. But we do have this one. So we will check it off, but at the same time, we'll write a note for us that we need to get another one. We need yeah. to get a secondary one because I think that's the only, maybe should be the only one missing that we for sure have. 
But we do have this one, which is a later release of it. And this is why we're putting the protectors on it, because this one's a brand new sealed one. But you can tell, you know, there's some scraping and stuff just from other DVDs being pulled out and stuff like that on top of it. So, I mean, it's still going to be a 10 out of 10 in condition. But the minting could have been better. So, we have this one labeled as sealed, and it's a 10 out of 10. And, of course, we have it protected now, so that wrapping on it shouldn't get damaged any further from here. So, that's the good thing. Okay, so number three, sea stories. So, we're looking for Ooh. sea stories. That is a classic one, super yellow. I can find it like. Oh, yeah, I already heartbeat. see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there it is, Sea Stories. And this one is an iconic one. You guys have heard me talk about this before. This has all three endings for Shanghai. But man, this one's box could be better. And I'm so glad we're doing this because, like, we've come across other versions of these. A lot of sea stories, yeah. Yeah, and we just get rid of them or we ignore them at the thrift store because we don't, we're like, oh, we have this. But it doesn't mean we couldn't have had it better to preserve it. At least a better case or something. Yeah, because yeah, this one's cracked, dude. Oh, dang. This has got a big, ooh, a crack in it. So, I mean, we could check it off, but I mean, it could be definitely Even better. The front's got a lot of little like bumps in it, yeah. Yeah, welting there, and then it's missing the insert. And on top of that, okay, the disc is pretty clean. The disc is the best part about it. So, Sea Stories has, of course, no no free rides on it, hooky, no weenies allowed, jellyfish jam, the algae's always greener. And I'll never forget watching Sailor Mouth as a kid, like my dad, like had never seen me watching Spongebob before. <laughs> my mom kept telling him like, oh yeah, he loves Spongebob so much. And we were at, like I was at my dad's place, cause you know, parents are separated. And I was watching Sailor Mouth episode and then Spongebob walks into the uh, Krusty Krab right when my dad walks in. He's <laughs> how like, the <laughs> how the f are ya? <laughs> and just like in the Sailor Mouth episode, I may have actually said the word and it got bleep um, just for a comedic effect because that's what they did in the episode. All the voice actors <laughs> for that episode actually did say the words that the dolphin noise is covered up just so it had the right flow of it. So somewhere out there, there is a uh, audio of uh, Clancy Brown saying this. <laughs> But we do have this one, so I'm giving this box like a five. Yeah, I was thinking four or five for sure. Yeah, maybe four. Like, let's just say just, like... It definitely needs a new one. Yeah, insert is like points for two. Box being cracked, that's like, that damn, I mean... A huge dock for the crack, yeah, yeah. let's just do a four out of ten on this one. But it is checked off. Next up, Tales from the Deep. January 28th. Wow. That is two days after my birthday. At this time, I would have been eight years old. I'd have been like, oh yeah, I am eight now for two days. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Are we missing it? I see this. There it is. Tales okay, there we go. That was hard to find. <laughs> that one blends in. Again, the box on this one is pretty scraped up. And like I said, this. I'm so glad that we're doing this so we can get a good look at like the best versions of them. Blue label. Yeah, blue label, Tales from the Deep. And I can almost tell when there's an insert in there without even opening it. I'm pretty a little sure. heavier. Yeah, this one's missing the insert too. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not cracked. So, I mean, we can check this one off on the list. Another one complete. Let's check the disc out. The disc is dirty. Dirty, but it is not damaged, so the disc is solid. So at least we got at least five points, right? Yeah, so we'll give it a five out of ten. Five out of ten on that one. Tails from the deep with the weird shot of SpongeBob having too much space above his eyes. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> so needs box, needs insert. Yeah, needs of box, needs insert. Tells from the Deep contains my least favorite episode in SpongeBob history though, and that is Valentine's Day. I mean, I love SpongeBob, obviously. No, but, but Patrick needs love too. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people ask me my least favorite SpongeBob episode, but Valentine's Day is my least favorite just because of the way Patrick treats SpongeBob and he's just so impatient and so, um, it just, it, it, it really didn't lend well to their relationship in my opinion, but it's not a terrible episode overall. It just, I get angry, irritated, <laughs> like irritated watching that episode. <laughs> so checking off Tales from the Deep. We gotta give this one a four out of 10 though. Unfortunately we need, uh, well, again, almost everything. Except for the DVD, the DVD is solid on this one. So far, our streak is going here. Can we do it? Can we have every single English release? Next up here, we have Lost at Sea. Lost at Sea? Oh, well, that's, that's an easy one to find because it looks like a map. <laughs> there we go. So Lost at Sea, I mean, it's not terrible. Like, it's not the worst box we've seen. It's a little bit ringed up here, here, and there, but. Plastic's kind of like warped right there. Yeah, that's pretty much it, though. And the back, oh, like a big old That I think mark. we can get off here because we've been cleaning these guys. And I think this one we could actually get off. Let's see. Mr. Gunky. Yeah, you just turned from a 
five to a six, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lost at Sea, let's check it out. This one has audio commentary, which is my favorite special features for them to add. I love re-watching the classic episodes with commentary from the crew or little facts added in. And it also has the storyboard for a sponge who could fly and seven SpongeBob life strategies. So pretty awesome disc here. So ranking, I'm thinking a six out of 10. Nah, could be better on disc. So we're doing pretty good though. Five out of five here. Let's keep it going, baby. Next up we have Tide and Seek, July 29th, 2003. Tide and Seek, I think that's like a Squidward hiding underneath that. I think it was like a blue like one. A bench. Oh, there it is. There we go. Nice. We got Tide and Seek right there. So we can check off Tide and Seek as well. I'm, I'm fearing the moment that we're going to have one completely missing here. So there is some dying on SpongeBob's eye there, it looks like. Oh, yeah. It's like a little orange. I see it. Yeah, a little scraped up. Got some dings here in the top. Disc and the insert are Dang. both in there. So that's cool. Whoa, my God goodness that one wow. yeah that that needs some work and again that disc probably you you'd be surprised how resilient dvds are like that probably still plays but it is complete and the box is pretty nice i mean i'll say seven heavily in need of a new disc yeah new disc heavenly sure. he heavenly heaven heavily 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 <laughs> And this one comes with the most notable, has some behind the scenes, not a lot of special features on this one. Big Pink Loser that was pretty iconic where you get to see SpongeBob and Patrick battle it out on who could be the best SpongeBob. Hi, I'm Patrick Star. I'm the laziest, pinkest starfish in Bikini Bottom. See, so this one says seven out of 10 needs new disc. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. All right, but we're continuing it on here, but you guys are seeing not all of these are in perfect shape here, but the matter is we are checking them off and we're gonna get this master set, maybe. Next up, we have SpongeBob Christmas. Ooh, I Where, see a couple Christmas. A couple Christmas. Oh yeah, you're right, there's two Christmas. There's a two SpongeBob Christmas Actually, specials. there's three. <laughs> the third one right here. So let's go ahead and grab this one out. I think there's four. <laughs> this is the original one here. We have a little bit of a little ding down here. Pretty solid box though overall, comparatively to some of the others that we've seen. A little bit of warping back here. On the inside, it's got its Ooh, insert. Yeah. Oh, that is such a Christmassy like vibe. I love it so much. One of my favorite episodes is that Christmas episode. Also looks like we kind of transferred over to the green and white era. Yeah, yeah, we're in 2003, 2004. We'll start getting into the green and white label era of SpongeBob products. But also you'll see the DVD is kind of, uh, as a Sponge Garden duty here, kind of take on that effect. Yeah, it's just interesting. Like yeah. a lot of the Nickelodeons though, like they started switching over to that like little corner one. Yeah, we're moving into a new era. <laughs> and the disc on this one is pretty good. I'd say like an eight out of 10 on the disc. So this is probably one of our better conditioned overall like covers here. It doesn't need to be cleaned here. So what are we, what are we rating this bad boy? I'm thinking a solid eight out of 10 on this one. What could be better? Just probably like the, the box? Probably the box. Yeah, the box could be a little bit better. And of course we have the double length episode, Christmas Who, which in my opinion, is one of the greatest like Christmas episodes of all time. I mean, you can think about all of Nickelodeon's like Christmas episodes. And I think, you know, of course they have some amazing ones like the Rugrats Christmas. We have Fairly Odd Parents Christmas, which is amazing too. But I don't think as many of them stand out as like a staple, almost like a Charlie Brown Christmas, like the SpongeBob Christmas does. Cause that one's just classic. It's really good too. It's just. Yeah, like Nickelodeon fan or not, many people have the SpongeBob Christmas Who episode on their Christmas movie watch list. Even if they aren't even like big SpongeBob fans, they just grew up watching this special every single year. And it kind of stands alone as its own special syndicated Christmas event. And I think what it is is like we live in Southern California. So what puts us in, I think most places, what they associate with Christmas and what gets you in that Christmas vibe is seeing snow everywhere and it feels more Christmassy. And since we don't have that here, I think watching media that has snow puts us in that Christmas vibe. Yeah, because like there's only like select places in California you can go, so. Yeah, like there is some places, but the majority, especially in the Los Angeles area, don't have snow, so. <laughs> Never. Yeah, so movies is, you know, that's where we get to see it at. So we have the Christmas episodes right there. I don't know if these Christmas ones or that Halloween one are going to reappear on the list, but for right now, we're going to add them in there just like that. But we are absolutely not missing any so far. Yeah, keep it going. Next up, we have the Seascape Capers. Seascape Capers. Let's now, see. that one's got Squidward almost doing the thing. He's just saying, oh, I'd appreciate it if you stopped. <laughs> <laughs> there it is down here. Yep. 
We got it right there. The ceiling on it isn't perfect. There is a little hole down here, but I think it's enough to say that's still a 10 out of 10. But I mean, once you put the other one on it, you could just make it perfectly good. Yeah, I'd say 10 out of 10 still. This one right here, super solid. No major, you know, dents or anything like that. Just a little bit of a, you know, some scratching on it, but nothing abnormal. And then the disc itself. Oh, oh my God, jeez. <laughs> That one needs to be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least you have the sealed one to like, okay, that is solid. But that needs to be disregarded. And special features on this one, it just has grandma's kisses. But one of my favorite episodes of all time, the Fry Cook Games. Wait for the real Fry Cook, Patrick. All right, and that one is 10 out of 10. I will say- Nine and a half. Yeah, it's semi-sealed. I'll do 10, but- 10 out of 10. Semi-sealed. <laughs> Semi-sealed. All, all right. right. This is awesome. And I love how satisfying it is being able to put them all in their correct release order, too. Okay, next up, SpongeBob goes prehistoric. Oh, there's two again. Yeah. We oh, that have... one's in French one or something? <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have this one with the regular English version. And then also the SpongeBob goes prehistoric in La French. Bob La Ponge. And that was actually sent in by Nick Berger in 2022. So shout out to you. And you can see it's a blockbuster box. That's and, sick. But we have this one here, the English version. And this one's got a pretty bad, like, you know, ding down here. But it does have its hey. insert inside of there. So we have the disc right here, too. Let's check it out. Some of the SpongeBob books we can collect. The disc on this one is, is nice. I mean, it's got some fingerprints. It needs to be cleaned. But, I mean, there's no major scratching on it. So, I mean, I could say this one's a solid 8 out of 10, and this one would be an 8 out of 10, too, considering it doesn't have the insert. So, two 8 out of 10s. Next up, we've got SpongeGar on duty. Uh, oh, right there underneath the Christmas. There we go, SpongeGar on duty. And talking about those sturdy blockbuster cases, that is a blockbuster Ooh. one. So, a little bit of a little nostalgia there with that piece. But that wouldn't be, we probably don't have the inserts. Hard. Yeah, so no insert in that one. So we'll have to look out for another SpongeGar on duty. But we do have one to check off there. The box is absolutely, you know, pristine, except for a little bit of damage up here. And a little bit of like, maybe some water damage, it looks like. That's maybe like a seven out of 10. And then we have a clam, another episode I feel like they rarely ever aired. And that's when Mr. Krabs takes SpongeBob and Squidward on that boat. SpongeBob, you hooked me million dollar on the backswing. Reel it in before I kill haul ya. But the next one we have though, after SpongeGuard on duty, which we gave that seven out of 10, is Sponge for Higher. Possibly, possibly the most, the most found disc and DVD that we ever see when we're thrifting, doing any videos, hunting. We find Sponge for Hire so much. So if this <laughs> disc is not spotless, I am gonna be disappointed in this a little bit. There's a sealed one and a regular one. So this one, again, semi-sealed. Semi-sealed. There's a little bit of a sealed damage. And then this one, this could be better considering how many of this we see. But maybe because I had the sealed one, I was just like, okay, whatever. I would say though that the insert needs to be changed for sure. Oh, um, yeah, no insert at all on this one. Or not the insert, sorry, the cover. It's yeah, the very, cover is pretty, oh my goodness. It's very, like, bleached right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I think I always left it because of the fact that I knew I had the sealed one. But now that I've seen that monstrosity, I think that we probably should look out for a better watchable copy. So probably like a three. Whoa, a three? Well, it needs a new, kind of a new case. Yeah. Needs an insert, needs a it's, disc. It's basically just a corpse. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> basically needs everything. Now that I think about it, three is kind of generous. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, home sweet pineapple, January 4th, 2005. Another one I feel like we always see. Oh boy, please have this one. Why do I feel like I don't see it? Uh, oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Home oh, sweet pineapple. Oh, kind of hiding into the Viking one. Another one that's been a little uh, sun bleach. Sun bleach on the side. Okay, so this one could be a little neater, but does it have its insert? Oh. Yes, correct, the insert oh, yeah, is in there. a little thing for jet fusion? Yeah, a little all grown up in there. The disc, oh, we got two of oh, them we got joints. two? <laughs> Just in case one's bad, you got another. They're actually both equally okay. So take a look at the back here. I mean, it's dirty. I mean, there's definitely, it just needs a new box, basically. New box, not bad though. Yeah, and this one actually has cast bios from the book, SpongeBob Exposed, the insider guide to SpongeBob SquarePants. All right, so while, well, what do you say, like seven out of 10? Just yeah, seven a new out of 10 new box, yeah. yeah. So seven out of 10 needs a new box. So far we're at 12 for 12. 
Hell <laughs> yes. Ooh, and next up is the SpongeBob movie, Ooh. which we don't have. We don't even have one copy of the SpongeBob movie. What the heck? That's wild, right? It's definitely not. Big lot somewhere. Uh, oh, you know what? There's actually some over here. If you see one or even two, that would be cool. Just let me know. We can grab. Uh, one. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I see any in here. Okay, so we may have found a couple versions, so. Maybe. We have the wide and full screen in English here in pretty clean boxes. Then we have the wide and full screen in their Canadians. These are both North American releases, though. All four of these are North American. And then we also have the dual pack here. I have the tree pack back there. And this is the wide screen in the black box. So this is the black box widescreen. And then we have the three movie collection, like I said. And I mean, I actually also have the Blu-ray of that movie inside my house too. All right, so the discs are pretty mint on both of these guys right here. And the boxes are pretty solid. I'd say a nine out of 10, you know? Just yeah. in search of needing a better, like a sealed one, really. I mean, this one came in from Cheyenne in 2022. So shout out to you, Cheyenne. You're the one we're actually sleeving up here. And for the widescreen variation, this one actually came in from Dustin Tucker in 2023 shots of you dustin you're the two that we're gonna be sleeping up here okay so mitchell noticed this yeah the movie itself triumphs by a.o scott of the new york times <laughs> also the contributor of every book ever being a, a number one new york times bestseller yeah <laughs> but on the back here this man went on to say also by a.o scott the country needs SpongeBob SquarePants. I agree, A.O. Yeah. Scott. A.O. Scott is my man now. He got two quotes on the SpongeBob movies, back and front. So next up here we have Beer of a Krabby Patty. Beer of a Krabby Patty to love a Krabby Patty. Oh, there it is. Oh, you know what we missed also is this one right here. This is a sealed oh. copy of the double uh, movie collection. Oh, well, you got that one. Yes, yeah, so we have this one too. Oh, but fear of a Krabby Patty could do <laughs> some work. It looks like somebody uses for target practice. Yeah. <laughs> Shot with a little airsoft gun. Yeah. And then it does have hey. the insert, so sweet. And then the disc. Oh, the disc. Oh, yeah, the disc could do some work too. All right. So we have it. Four out of ten. Box and disc. Has seen better days. Keeping it going, baby. Not a single one missed. Not a damn one missed. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Next up, we got from 2005, Absorbing Favorites. Ooh. And the next one kind of scares me. Okay, Absorbing Favorites first. Uh-oh. Absorbing Favorites. Man, I know this one's a little hard. Oh, no, 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 no. The next one's going to scare me. No. Oh, there's Absorbing Favorites right there. Oh my goodness, Mitchell. I think the next one might mess uh, us up. Don't say that. Don't even look. <laughs> <laughs> we had such a good run! At least like 15 so far. Oh my goodness. At least like 15, he said. Ah, oh, it's missing the uh, insert. Well, let's hope the disc is good. He looks sick. You delicious little disc hole. What? Look at him. That's what he's saying, not me. Okay, well. The <laughs> oh my god. Goodness. Looks like somebody used this as a circular saw at one point. This is rough. So now we need insert and a disc. This disc will still play, but damn, is it rough. All right, let's give this guy a two out of 10 and move on to the next one. Two out of 10, that implies everything. <laughs> but now for the next one, how is that? Maybe you'll see it and I'm missing it. What is it? What the is next one is, we have this on VHS for sure. 2005, November 15th, Where's Gary on DVD. Oh, Where's Gary? I do not see it. I, uh, no, I don't think we have that one. No! <laughs> oh, the streak has ended. But, you know, that's what we were here to do, right? To see which ones were missing so we could have that complete, you know, United States master set. It should look like this. It would look like that, but slightly fatter, skinnier, and more special features at a faster run rate. And not for distributor, retailer, promotional use. Oh, man. That annoys me, but it's okay. So, well, as you know, like it was very a rare disc because I don't think we've ever seen that really. Yeah, so we're, yeah, we've never seen Where's Gary in the Wild. So, Where's Gary is missing. Dang. Mitchell, don't say dang. I already know it's dang, you know? Dang. Okay. <laughs> it's a dang off camera here. We were done. He's like, dang. Man, I know. I know it's <laughs> dang. But the next release in 2006, February 21, is Lost in Time. That one's pretty easy. Yes, it's one of the a couple of discs that came out in this period with a white disc. So. Like a Wii, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. a Wii game. 
And that lineup there is all toys that came out from Lost in Time. I was 11 years old when this came out and my whole life was SpongeBob. Now so as well, but like back then when I was 11, it was just like everything to me. And I was out there trying to collect that entire line. One of my most like ingrained SpongeBob memories is this special and how hyped I was for its releasal. So this is a big one to me. I don't know if this one contained an insert. I feel like it probably did. It's missing its insert. The disc, although having some fingers Prints is pretty spotless. So I would say this one is a eight out of 10 needing insert. Oh, well, the box could be better. Let's do seven out of 10. Seven out of 10. I love the jellyfish, <laughs> the dragon. Yeah, the King Jellyfish, Ash, aka Dragon, is freaking sick. But then not just that, you also get Jester Squidward in there, which just like roasts the hell out of King Mr. Krabs, which is worth it in itself. <laughs> Next up, we have Karate Island, which in Russia was called Karate Choppers. Huh, Karate Island, huh? Karate Island, yes. Hey, there it is, it was hiding. Yep, Karate Island. That one I just got maybe a couple months ago, if anything. Could use a little cleaning, it has some scraping on the box, but overall is pretty dang, you know, solid, the box itself. Of course, you've got Sandy right here, and if you guys don't know already, you get to see this outfit in Cosmic Shake, but if not just that is a reference to the Kill Bill series and the outfit she wears. I was about to say, it looks very Kill Bill. <laughs> yeah, as well as that was a reference to Bruce Lee, so it's a whole little, you know, smorgageboard there of uh you know references and then on this side you get to see you know a little bit more of the uh, features and stuff like that oh, some the crusty towers on it yes it does have the crusty towers one of the uh one of the best later season episodes a lot of people would, i think would agree no insert no insert Okay, not a good start. Where is the disc at though? Oh, the disc is really Ooh. shot. I think I just got it because it was the desperation of having it. Just the, oh, I actually have the box now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's probably watchable, but it's not a preservable like, oh yeah, this is the one to look at for reference. So we'll give this one Karate Island. I'm thinking, uh, I would say like a five maybe, yeah. For the box and everything, yeah, it just need, well, I'd say maybe like a four because it really does need everything internally. Okay. So so Karate Island, disc and insert needed, but we do have it so we can keep this going. Starting our new feed, our new chain. Okay, next up we have Whale of a Birthday Party. It's all about you, girl, <laughs> on your 16th birthday. It's all about you, it's all about you, bro. On your 16th birthday, Mr. Krabs gotta pay that bill though. So this one, I mean, we have versions of this because we also have the triple pack that has well of a birthday party in it. But, so I mean, if the disc is really bad, really we could just you know, yeah, kind of swap it around. We have an extra one of that disc to that triple pack. The only problem with the disc in there is they're just plain like gray and white. Yeah, that's true. The disc is dirty, but good. <sighs> All right, so here we go. You what is the like ranking? A, I'd say like an eight or nine, no? Yeah, eight, eight out of 10. It just needs, I would say probably uh, a little less scraped up case, but I mean, it's definitely worth uh, preserving for sure. And then after that, one of my favorite of all time, 2007, friend or foe. Ooh, that one's a pretty easy one to spot. Uh, it looks like there it is. is. Yep, so we have friend or foe right here with a little plinking eyeball. Yes, and this one's box is hard because it's got such a dark background that it's really easy for it to be like damaged, scratched, have a lot of whitening on it. So it could be better for sure, but the it's, so, it's solid. The box is solid itself. Still not bad at all, yeah. No insert if there is one. Yeah, no insert, and the disc itself is clean. It's not perfect, but it could be better. I'd say overall like a seven out of 10 or a six. Let's just go with a six. Uh, this one's probably, I've watched this one so many times, it could have been just wear, but I'll go with a six out of 10. And of course this one, we get to see the unique beginnings of Plankton and Mr. Krabs. And I mean, probably one of the most lore based, if not the most lore based episode in all of the SpongeBob series. They usually try to stay away from, you know, a lot of like canon building uh, episode styles. You know, it always changes, but some of the stuff that's the most rooted and the most like, official characters stuff happens in this friend or foe disc here so one of my favorite always will be so there we go let's go ahead and sleeve that guy up disc and insert six out of ten okay so then after that we have oh man this one took me so long so long to get bikini bottom adventures 
Ooh. 2007. Bikini Bottoms Adventures. They got the Legend of Bikini Bottom, Bikini Bottom Bash. Bikini I know Bottom you're Adventures. in there. Yeah, I know hey. you're in there. I've been looking for you for years. I am like a guy who's like, I, I can know you can find them online, you know, and I've, I probably could have done that from the start, but I've somehow found all of these pretty much either in the wild or from you beautiful people. So staying away from buying them online was kind of smart overall because now I might have to only buy like a couple online, you yeah. know, for a discounted price. And if you buy them online, it doesn't mean they're going to be in perfect shape either and you're probably gonna pay a lot more than what I got to pay for for all of these ones so this one's in very solid shape we have a really good box I mean it's gonna be easier for the boxes to be in better shape because they're they're newer you know some of the earliest ones you know are from 2002 so you're talking about five years difference five a lot can happen to a box and disc in five years so popping it open here it is missing its insert but hey I wasn't leaving this guy or we're gonna you know disregard it considering it's like you never see it and the disc could be better it could be better, but definitely playable. So we'll go ahead and say this one, well, six out of 10. Six out of 10, but the fact that it exists is a win. This is probably one of the ones that I hunted for the longest, as with a couple of these more recent editions. Because it seems like the modern ones are definitely the harder. Yeah, because when you're looking at like ones like for sea stories, like sea stories, and if you're talking about like a sponge for hire, those ones I assume were printed to oblivion because it was at the peak of SpongeBob popularity. There's so many coming out and so many people were buying them. And as SpongeBob became more iconic and less necessarily the show people were watching avidly, yeah. And DVDs became less and less popular. They made less, you know. So seeing some of the later ones, I mean, they're I would say damn near rare to have some of the later SpongeBob discs. So there we have it, Bikini Bottom Adventures. Next up, Atlantis Square Pantis. One of the most underrated and most disregarded specials in all of SpongeBob. Atlantis Square Pantis. Right there. It looks like a freaking game disc. Yeah, I and mean, the disc for the game is pretty similar. It's just SpongeBob holding that uh coin, yeah. yeah, the coin itself. I personally have re-watched this episode a couple times now. Yes, David Bowie is in the episode and doesn't get a song for some strange reason, but the episode is pretty solid. I feel like that this episode gets so much hate, but if you really watch it, it's another episode that kind of offers a lot of like lore and the foundation of the bikini bottom world, so to speak. And you get to learn a lot about it. Atlantis and Atlantis is still out there and it's referenced in other Spongebob media video games books and alike and the characters within this episode still kind of live on in a uh, legend so box pretty solid there the disc on this one is one of my favorites ever Ooh. being the actual bubble that Spongebob's in That's it's sick. missing the insert though come on good disc good disc. oh the disc is beautiful so just an insert really yeah so just an insert so I'm saying 8 out of 10 on that yeah guy. So the next one up is in, in January 2008, and that is to love a patty, which is crazy because for me, for some reason, this episode is like so much earlier, but it's in 2008. Oh, I see it. It's right here. At least we have it though. Yeah, but I don't know why in my mind this episode was just so much older than it is. So this one right here comes with, of course, the episode where SpongeBob falls in love with a literal Krabby Patty up until the point where it becomes disgusting. Oh, baby. Baby. Box solid, solid on the back too. Ooh, insert. beautiful Atlantis Square Pantis. SpongeBob is back insert. So that's definitely uh, for sure. Well, I think this is supposed to be like this actually. The disc, ooh, 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 oh my. Oh, there's a big crack in it. There's a crack in the disc. Oh wow, that's a, this is a one. A one. Absolutely need a new disc. So a one. That's our only one so far. Even though everything else is like perfect. Yeah, everything else is solid, exactly. So if we can just find this one with a disc, we're in business. This will make it an eight. April 15th, 2008, SpongeBob SquarePants, Pest of the West, came out. One of my, ah, another lore building episode where we get to meet one of SpongeBob's ancestors and not just him, the ancestors of many other uh, Bikini Bottom citizens. I'm not gonna lie, I don't see a Pest of the West. I know we have Pest of the West We've though. had it. What in the world? I think we've seen it hunting many times, but we never picked it up because they were always damaged. Yeah. You know what, that's it. So we are missing Pest of the West. Even though we've seen it, it's just never been a I good think disc. it's like something I've assumed that we've had this whole time, that's why. And when we see it in the store, it's always really damaged. Like we could have had this one many times, but because I thought we had it for sure, we missed it. So this is so like instrumental that we're doing this because now we know without a doubt which ones are missing. I wanna shove this through my 
forehead. How are we missing Pest of the West? The Gary one makes more sense. That's a little harder to find. Pest of the West, we could have had this if we would have just known we needed it. Okay, well, moving on. Oh, my goodness. Don't do this to me twice. Oh, two in a row. Mitchell, yes. What, what is it? Though? Why are you always going to be there to... I got to reassure that you... Reassure my failures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's hear it. SpongeBob SquarePants, Who Bob What Pants. I don't think we have Who Bob What Pants. Unless I will be sh happily shocked. I don't. I don't see. No, I've never seen Who Bob's What Pants in the wild. Huh. I've never seen that disc out there before. Wait a minute. We do technically have it. Uh oh. In a three pack. <laughs> so in the three pack, we do have Who Bob What Pants. But I'm gonna mark it as not checked off though because of the fact that it does have its own original disc. So we're missing three. Who Bob What Pants now? Damn. Come on. Don't do me like this. Next up, Spongicus. Oh. I know we got Spongicus. Where is that? That I know we have. Oh, right there, above Triton's Revenge. Yeah, you better show yourself. The great Spongicus. Yeah, oh, that's a good disc cover. Yeah, the box is nice on that one. Ooh. Oh, no insert, but I love, like, this is the only time where the, the where the gray disc kind of works. It looks like a film grain. It's like very, like, sparkly. Yeah, and it kind of fits in with that, like, Great. like stone. stone, yeah. Stone, yeah. Oh, something's happened in the center there. Yeah, this disc could be better for damn sure. All right, so we're going to give this one. Yeah, it's cracked in the center there. Nice. So we have Spongicus. Man, I'm so glad we're doing this video because we've come past so many Spongicus. Spongicus. <laughs> Just have developed a lisp. Spongicus. We've had so many Spongicus. That's a hard Spongicus. 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 So you have so many of these, but we've never kept it because I assumed it was checked off. So. And now you know you need a new disc. Now I know we need to replace that guy. So probably like a four. I'm thinking like a three. A three. Yeah. Uh, no insert. No disc. New yeah. Disc. Just the solid. Just the solidity in the box is the foundation of that three. Next up. SpongeBob versus the big one, March 3rd, 2009. The big one? Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah right here. The yes. Big one. And I think this is sealed. So we have a sealed copy oh, of the big dang. one. We should look out for a an open copy, though. So I will put this one on there as we do have it. Obviously, it's sealed brand new. And that's a 10 out of 10. Like, the cover on it is, like... That's beautiful. That's an amazing, like, preservation-level cover. So I'm going to give that one 10 out of 10, absolutely. But as a note, we will keep on the lookout for this one in an open version. Next up, 2009, July 9th. Happiest moments, SpongeBob's happiest moments. 10 happiest moments? Yep. Oh yeah. So this one I already know is gonna be rough. This one was one that I literally got because I was like, okay, well at least we have one. Two hours of laughs. You've got Tea at the Tree Dome on there. You've got Roller Cowards, Christmas Who, Culture Shock, Just One Bite, pretty much just SpongeBob being at his happiest. Kind of like the absorbing favorites of the late 2000s. The disc is in there. This one came in from Nick Berger, but I think the disc on this, yeah, the disc on this one is pretty shot up. So, I mean, it is watchable, because I have watched this one before, so we can count it, but definitely probably look for some a new version overall on it, but it's, it's I'm still honored to have a placeholder, at least. I'm gonna give the rating on this one a two. A two? Yeah, two out of 10. Needs disc, needs insert. <laughs> this is just a reoccurring problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this one only recently we were able to check off. And that's SpongeBob's to SquarePants or not to SquarePants, Ooh. July 21st, 2009. We got right there. Yeah, I featured that one at the start here. We got SpongeBob, what you gonna do with that big, not square butt? That's... <laughs> no insert, uh. but it does have the disc and the disc is dirty a little bit, fingerprinty, but spotless as far as scratching goes. Almost never watched. So if this one would have had the insert, that would have been our first nine out of 10 probably. Because the case is really clean. Yeah, there's like one little slime here, but I mean, pretty, I would I would be confident to give it a nine out of 10. I love that he's wearing like jeans though in that one spot. <laughs> this one jean Just patch. denim. <laughs> Just for that. And of course, this contains the episode where SpongeBob loses his identity essentially by getting not square pants. My name is SpongeBob Square. <laughs> Okay, so then in 2009, November 10th, we had SpongeBob's Truth or Square, another Ooh. recent edition. Now, I know I've seen this disc. Oh, no. No, I know we have this one. What the frick? We just opened this up in the mystery box, so we would have had this yeah. one not in there. Truth or Square, an amazing cover. I love that cover so much. Also included in a triple pack. 
Yeah, exactly. So we do have it here too. So I mean, if the disc is not too great, and the disc is like that anyway. So I Sweet. mean, we have another triple pack, but no insert. And the disc is actually, eh, it could be better. So what are we rating it? Since it's got pretty much everything. Rating on this one, just needing an insert, I'll give it a seven. Ooh, not bad. Box could be better too. I do like how unique the front cover is. Yeah, I personally, I think I love, of course, the classic OG, you know, episodes, but I kind of like the more modern disc boxes better. Like, I think the artwork on them is a little bit more creative and more unique. Then we have in 2010, we are now only 13 Ooh. years away, 2010 Viking Size Adventure. Oh, I already see that one off the rip. Yeah, we are getting closer and closer to the end here. Viking Size Adventures. So that one's got a beautiful cover on it. The box is pretty solid. The back is solid. Ooh, no insert. I'm like wondering like, is it maybe just, there's no inserts in the more modern ones, you know, with like the gray. Like That's a possibility. The disc is really solid on this one too. Like it's got some fingerprints, but really clean. I'm so, wondering if like all the white discs have no inserts. Yeah, some of these could just not have an insert, but we'll just look out for it. And if at some point we just keep seeing a no insert, we can just presume. And yeah. there is none. So I get that like an eight? Yeah, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 just because it's really solid overall. I mean, there's a couple of scrapes in the box and whatnot, but overall, I mean, you know, it's, it's the best you could ask for for a used copy. All right, so that's getting an eight out of 10, but we need the insert. If it has it. If it has so. Next up, SpongeBob's Last Stand. Another one that I think is a recent addition, if anything. Oh no. He's in the triple pack for the Lost Stand. There's the Lost Stand in the triple pack, but I don't think we have it. Back. Oh, the cover is so cool, too. I would have remembered having that one. Damn, so we have four missing. SpongeBob's Last Stand is a missing one. Damn, that one has a cool cover. All right, we gotta keep a lookout for Last Stand, too, so four were missing. Next up, we have 2010 July 13th Trident's Revenge. We've been seeing that one the whole uh, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, that one's, that one's pretty bright. <laughs> yeah, another oh, amazing cover. Oh, yeah. Just freaking beautiful. You have Trident right there doing mm. some of his magic. You got freaking Neptune's uh, disapproving stare. And then of course you got the sponge and Pat right there too. Missing or- I'm beginning to think that, yeah. yeah. Missing or maybe doesn't have an insert. And then this one, spotless disc. Like, you know, couple little fingerprints, but great shapes. I'm gonna give that one a, if it doesn't have an insert, nine out of 10. If it has an insert, then eight out of 10. Is this hard to tell, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think if we keep seeing more of them that just don't have an insert that are newer ones, because I feel like I might have bought this one sealed and opened it. I know I didn't get rid of the insert. Yeah, I think the modern ones probably might just not have one anymore. Yeah. Next one up, Legends of Bikini Bottom. Ooh. I know I feel like I've seen that one a few times. Yeah, the Legend of Bikini Bottom? Yep, Legends of, that's Bikini Bottom. Legends of Bikini oh, Bottom. Legends of Bikini Bottom. Oh, underneath karate. Yep, so we have that one right here, and this one is pretty spotty. That this one, one too. This one took me forever to get. You get the hagfish, you get like the, kind of like the, I guess you'd say like, uh, out of lack of a better term, but like the redneck type of fish. And then you have the mermaids as well too, where they kind of get like lost in this like world of just, they basically are stealing stuff from all the citizens of Bikini Bottom because they don't have anything where they're at, and they're like trapped there. And another one where the insert's missing, if that's the case, so I'm gonna Go ahead and say the inserts probably aren't a thing at this point. So if they're clean, then probably just nines. Yeah, so this one's got a scratches on it though. So we'll give this one an eight just out of the lack of a better disc. Next up, 2011, we're getting there. 2011, we have the Great Patty Caper. Which is right there with Plinkton on the side. The Great Patty Caper sounds like a SpongeBob, but also could be like a very good Scooby Doo movie. Well, it's because I, I think they had the creepiest capers, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna assume there's no inserts. Yeah, I don't think so either. And oh. Hey. As we say here, you could eat off of this. There we go. And I love this one's like a silver disc, but it's very like, got a nice texture future. to it. Future. <laughs> yeah, very futuristic. Chrome. I, I mean, that's a probably like a nine. Yeah, I mean, besides a little bit of dinging in the box, I think it's or worth a eight. nine. Yeah, I'll give it a nine. Next up here, we have the Heroes of Bikini Bottom. Is right underneath. Yeah. Yes, and this one is open. Okay, this one is open, but I think we may have had this one sealed at some point. So there it is, Heroes of Bikini Bottom. This has an insert. 
Oh, and it's it's freaking shows off the Tritons, the Ten, all the ones that we. Oh, there's the last end disc. That's sick. Maybe they do have inserts. I don't oh. know. That makes you wonder now. We we'll just write insert question mark on all of those. Yeah. That is weird. Okay, so we have the insert on this one, and the disc. This is a one I think I owned originally. Yeah. So spotless. Man, it's like was that the only one and it just promoted those? I can only speak for this one because I personally opened this one So I know that's why the inserts in there Maybe those did have inserts and just because somebody else owned them at some point they took it out But, but it's like what is wrong with people like does that really bother you that much in the disc like oh, let's get that thing out <laughs> And now I can watch this thing <laughs> It's so like it almost like somebody has to go out of your way to throw it out Oh, we want to give that one a nine or well this one's getting a damn tin Ooh. I think it deserves the only non-sealed tin. Ooh, another one that was ever elusive. SpongeBob's Runaway Road Trip, where him and his parents and Patrick go on a road trip. Oh yeah, right here, underneath. And me and Mitchell have been working on a puzzle that is taking us probably a good chunk of our lives. And this puzzle has all of the, like, a bunch of characters from Bikini Bottom, a lot of them being more recent characters as well. And there's a whole section that is dedicated to these monster creatures. Those characters appear literally in this episode and this episode only, and then never show up again. But they got put on a biggest SpongeBob puzzle ever created and on a list of supposedly all canon SpongeBob characters. Because that makes sense. Yeah, so it's missing the insert, if that exists. And the disc is not Ooh. very good, yeah. It looks like somebody tried to resing on the disc. <laughs> it's like a perfect circle right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, now there's a fingerprint too. <laughs> and Mitchell's fingerprint. Now I can use that to place some kind of crime on you. Okay, so there we go. Runaway road trip. And oh. that's getting a, I guess eight out of 10, right? Insert question mark. mark. Yeah. <laughs> better disc. Oh yeah, better disc. Oh, I guess with that disc, I'll give it a, I'll give it a six. Six out of 10. Six out of 10. But that one took forever to find. Next up, Frozen Face Off. The most Gary abusive episode in SpongeBob history. And yes, it even beats the SpongeBob Great Snail Race. There we have it. A beautiful cover though. I feel so bad because it's just like, okay, he's already using Gary and then like everyone else is like, the <laughs> sleds just start dying and he's like, oh, come on, come on. And Gary's just like, Struggles. Yeah, they can be very neglectful and very like unaware of Gary and Gary can sometimes kind of be the butt of a joke Because he's not like a humanoid character, but I don't think that should be the case, you know like, That's your pet. <laughs> exactly. This has a bonus episode of fanboy and chum chum because you know how much you were wanting that What? And then also tough puppy. They're like, how do we get these in the, in the zeitgeist of people's mind? Put it in a Spongebob disc. So nothing on this one as far as inserts go the disc, very worn. Wow. Very, very Someone worn. Someone really enjoyed that fanboy and jumped. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that's why they did that. <laughs> They're like, I hate fanboy and jump jump. That is getting uh, a good old fiver. Yeah. That's, disc has been way better at one point. <laughs> 2012, we had the release of Ghouls Fools and August 28th, oh, no, 2012. No, yes, yeah, so this is uh, right here. And that one's another one where we have two discs. This one is really messed That's up. because so. we kept getting them, like the case over and over, trying to get one. <laughs> that yeah, was good. This one's in really good condition. The disc is perfect. And the box is in great shape, too. I think this might deserve a 9 out of 10 as well. And Ghouls Fools is an amazing, probably a disc. If I were to pick any of these discs to just like throw on to watch this one. What so, disc is perfect. I'm thinking a nine out of 10, uh, insert question mark. All right, next up we have, it's a SpongeBob Christmas 2012. Oh, we know we've seen that one. We are dwindling down here. So we have both versions of it, the red box and also this one. Um, what we'll do is we'll probably use whichever disc is the best shape, but I'll probably use the red box. I think this was the first, like the original release of it. So this one's got a great case. Check out the disc already, very clean. The back is clean, everything's good on it. This one is the preferred method one because it's got the red box, but the insert is so much better on this one. I mean, damn, I mean, I almost want to just like take the insert out of this one, put it in this one, and take the disc out of this one and put it in this one so you have that red box. Yeah, I mean, that'd be sick. What are we giving this bad boy a nine? I'm thinking we give this guy a nine out of 10. And this one comes with two, two MP3 compatible songs, Santa's Eyes and Kid Hot Fruitcake. Santa, Santa, Santa has his jolly little Okay, so next up, 2013, we have Extreme Karate. Which we actually have two, two copies. Oh yes, we do have two of those right here. So we have one, which is my copy, which is like in great shape. And then one, I think we found it at the thrift. 
So let's check it out. Whichever one has a better disc we'll go with. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, this one's got ah oh, spotless pretty much. A little scratching on the top here, but not bad. Probably and so then good and readable. both don't have an insert though. Like I know I opened this one. So this definitely never had an insert. And this one is, I mean, pristine is as pristine can be. So I guess we'll go with this one right here for now. And that's I'm thinking is an easy nine. Or no, I'm getting a 10, another 10, because I know this one didn't have an insert. Oh, another miss. Oh no. I'm pretty sure we don't have this one. SpongeBob Patrick SquarePants. It's a whole, it's a dedicated disc to just Patrick episodes. No, we don't have it. It is missing. So that is number five that is missed here. And then I know this one's been missing for a long time. SpongeBob, you're fired where Spongebob starts working at some of the other uh, establishments. Yeah. He works at the Chinese place, he works at the donut place, he works at the pizza place, and he ends up, gets fired from all those jobs, but then they all find out that like what he was doing is actually the best way for their business. Makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> Spongebob's a master at cooking, you know? Damn, so that's six now. Then in 2015, the pilot, a mini movie, and Spongebob's and Squarepants shorts. Which we can see right on top here. Have it here. <laughs> One of the most instrumental discs, if you are just a deep SpongeBob fan, you get the pilot, of course, and a bunch of shorts that you can only see on this particular disc. And they do have some of the shorts and some of the other discs that we covered here. But if you want just every little piece of like unreleased Nickelodeon bumpers, SpongeBob shorts, this is the guy right here. So I really wish they would do more of this with like astrology with Squidward and some of the uh, other SpongeBob buffers for stuff like that would just be cool. And I think they'd be surprised when people would actually want it. So disc on this one is I'm sure great shape. I know it never had an insert in there. This is my original one. Great condition disc. And uh, the box overall is in pretty good shape considering I've watched it so many times. So I'll give this one a nine out of 10. Next up, we are getting 2015. We're eight years away from modern day here. We're getting close. Next up, we have the Sponge Out of Water movie that came out in 2015. And I believe we have that one sealed right here, yes, with the uh, Walmart version. We also have the collector's copy with the bubble blower as well in the movie section. Several copies of this film. So this one, 10 out of 10, sealed. And of course, if you guys haven't seen it, the SpongeBob movie, the best family film of the year by A.O. Scott of the uh, New York Times. Oh, the whole country needs SpongeBob, you know? Yeah, no, this is actually R.C. Samo. But A.O. Scott was fan busy. Fanboy Nation. Yeah. So a really clean copy there. 10 out of 10. The Adventure of SpongeBob SquarePants. And that came out in the UK, Australia, Germany, and the US. So the Adventures of SpongeBob SquarePants. Which is actually right there. It looks sealed. Yes. Yeah, so we have this oh, one. Oh, we got another one right here. Oh, damn. We got two of them joints. Oh, and it's open? So we have an open and sealed variation. So we'll put the sealed variation in there with the protector. I mean, 10 out of 10 on that one. And considering this is my personal copy as well, too, I know. Never, never had a, oh my gosh. Whoa. The insert returned with the SpongeBob Mega Blocks ad. That's beautiful. <laughs> so. That could be just for that though, you know? Yeah. 10 out of 10 for both though. All right, so we have two copies of that one sealed. I'm gonna put this one in the collection as well too, but just for our, you know, sake of our, our little stack here, we're gonna put the sealed one there. All right, next up, we had Legends of Bukini Bottom in 2018. Which you already knew I found it by accident. <laughs> yeah, so you have that guy right there. Yeah, and that one's in great shape on the box here. And the disc, again, spotless. This is my original copy as well, too. So an amazing film. If you guys haven't seen this, I actually, before Halloween time's over, I gotta watch this one. It also comes with the behind the scenes uh, featurette. I've seen it before, but just to be in that Halloween vibe, I think I'm gonna watch this one uh, probably this week. <laughs> <laughs> After that, we have Bikini Bottom Bash, which is also the title for a VHS, but we got it on DVD, so new title. Uh, right here under this. Also yes, and, sealed. Yes, and this one is also sealed as well. And this, of course, has the SpongeBob birthday episode on here, the big birthday blowout, where you have uh, special guest appearances from many celebrities that have been on SpongeBob, or also just celebrities that are fans of SpongeBob, or also just NBA players. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear SpongeBob. Happy birthday to you. So the next up here we have the SpongeBob musical live on stage. Ooh, which I've been kind of staring at. Yeah, so that one right here. Uh, the main character of this is a relatively a, a name of popularity. 
very recently. So, you know, shout out to, shout out to the, that, I guess. Anyway, next disc, we have the Sponge on the Run movie. Which you got a couple of those. Yeah, which I have a couple different versions of it as well. We have the Easter version, the Valentine. Valentine's version. But for this, you know, for the documentation of this one, these are both sealed, of course, but we'll go ahead and do this one as a 10 out of 10. Has everything with it. No insert, of course, because I didn't have one. Okay, so discluding like triple packs, there is one triple pack that we are missing, but technically triple packs are like a, a, a category in themselves. We have triple pack one, two, and four. We are missing triple pack three. So we do need one triple pack that is missing here. But after that, in 2020, we get into Camp Coral. So we'll cover this guy up. Coral. Which is the first season, which is crazy to me that Camp Coral only has one season right now. But the new Rugrats on Paramount Plus has literally five seasons already. Five. And Patrick says that too, no? Yeah, yeah, Patrick Star says that too, too. I don't know why they haven't made more Camp Coral yet. Personally, I adore it so much. It's so sweet and it's such a fun, like, morning vibe show to watch. So we have Camp Coral, though, season one on disc. And I mean, hey, if this is the only season they make, at least we have, like, the first season. And I presume that if this is the only one they ever do, they never make another season, this will be kind of like a spin-off Lost in Time, which makes me kind of want to get a sealed copy of it before it's too uh, too crazy. And then we have the Patrick Star show here, which again, I watch online, so don't necessarily need to have that one. I wish they would add it to Paramount Plus though. So we have season one, volume one. I don't believe they've done a season one, volume two yet. So I don't know if they're going to do more Patrick Star discs, but again, if this is the only piece of physical media that the Patrick Star show gets, I'm glad that we found it. I mean, you took it. You know how long it took us to find this. <laughs> Too long. Forever. This is crazy. Like some of the older discs are so much easier to find. Yeah. So on that note, in total, we are missing from special releases because we already have one season one all the way till twelve. We do need to get the season thirteen disc, but it just came out, so that you know will really allow room for flexibility and for 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 change. So <laughs> we have all of that already. We were missing the original Halloween. Where's Gary? Pest of the West. Who Bob? What pants? Last Stand and SpongeBob and Friends. Patrick Squarepants, which the last three I totally understand, but it's unbelievable that we're missing Pass of the West and Where's Gary to me. Yeah. Like, it's crazy that we did not have those somehow. So, those are the ones that we need to have a complete set of SpongeBob discs. Yes, some of them we do have gradings that are lower. We're going to be looking out for better versions of them down the line. But to at least say we have a master set of every single one, that is what we will need. So, we are going to be hunting hardcore for these. I may even do a video trying to complete this entire setup down the line. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But we're on the look for those. So those are the ones we need left to complete this setup. I think that's pretty damn good though. You know? I mean, I was like, oh man, as long as we're under like 10, you know, that'd be really sick. But like, I was shocked only hearing five missing. That's crazy. Yeah, five, really only five are missing because that Halloween one we could go grab. So really only five are missing. That's unbelievable to say that uneven, unintentionally, I did not know which ones were released. I was like, oh, I don't have this one. I do have this one. I'm grabbing. It. So unintentionally, we got within only five missing to complete every single SpongeBob special edition disc ever released. And of course, this is not including special slip covers, you know, variant covers of like, you know, Christmas DVDs. It's just to be able to have all of them. Of course, we'll be looking for all those special versions, you know. If there's an Atlantis Square Pandas, the coupon for the game, I'm gonna grab it. So that is pretty much it. We're gonna be putting this stuff back in the collection. We're gonna be reorganizing these DVDs back here and putting some stuff in protectors, getting some of the stuff that we watch the most often to put it here into the collection and taking some of the stuff that we don't watch as often and putting it inside of the bolt so we can preserve it as is. But these guys right here, these are staying on display even if I won't be opening these guys up as much because we do have all the seasons. There's really no reason for us to open these up unless to check out those special features. And as we do that, we can just take these out and just, you know, put them right back into their protectors. An amazing video. I had so much fun going through all of this and I think it was truly divisive for us to know to complete it, you know? Anyway, without further ado, you know the drill. Scan it! 
Okay, so we now have every single SpongeBob DVD here in sequential order, which is just beautiful to see. It goes all in order from the beginning of its freaking history all the way to modern day. I love it so much and can't wait to add more. But on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know. If you guys want to see more of the kind of, you know, us building this collection, obviously you see a lot of the videos we're bringing stuff in here, but these are the videos that really kind of show us forming this and developing it into a stronger and stronger collection. So if you guys want to see more stuff like this, leave some love down below and also hit the like button. If you guys want to support the show even further, go check us out on Patreon. It is the number one way to consume comfort cartoons because you get an extended version of the video, early releases, behind the scenes, and much more. So go check that out. Link will be in the top of the description. If you guys want free money, go check out Whatnot. You can probably pick up some DVDs to add to your collection for free getting a $15 coupon when you sign up and I also stream there every single Friday and if ever I find any disc that I end up adding to the collection and it's missing an insert or it has something that I need from the other ones or if I end up already having it we always put those up on whatnots if you guys are interested in getting those you can check them out of course always tested and clean so go check us out on whatnot and I'll see you guys in this video that I know you're gonna love but as always Rep Pack I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios and...